In this final lesson, we'll look at sharing your movies to specific destinations like Apple iDevices or video sharing sites like YouTube and Vimeo. Final Cut Pro 10 will allow you to share your movie from the timeline or you can select the project in the browser. Select the Love of Flight project, then click the Share button in the upper right of the interface to bring up the Destinations menu. Choose Apple Devices 1080p. You're presented with an info window that gives you a quick overview of your movie name, its description, and any tags you've applied. These tags can be read and embedded by video sharing sites like Vimeo and YouTube. Tags are represented by these purple tokens. Let's remove them and create our own. Type out helicopter and a comma, then type H5 Productions. Now anyone searching YouTube can use these tags to search for your video. Looking horizontally along the bottom of the window, you'll see a summary of the video format, the audio channel count, duration, and final delivery codec. You're even given an estimated file size. But here's what's really cool. If you hover your pointer over the devices icon, a window will appear showing you what specific computers and or devices your movie export will be compatible with. You can change the sharing options by clicking the settings button at the top of the window. In most cases, however, you won't need to change anything. Click share to begin exporting. To monitor the progress of the export, press Command-9 to bring up the Background Tasks window. Your movie's progress will appear in the Sharing section. You can continue to work on your project while your movie exports. Once the movie is exported, macOS will notify you. Because we chose Apple devices from the Destinations menu, the movie was automatically saved into the iTunes library and will automatically launch. Select Movies from the menu, then select Home Videos. Your shared movie will appear with a thumbnail and the word New. The next time you sync your iPhone or iPad, your movie will automatically appear on those devices. So that's it. Thank you for joining me on this short eight lesson journey on how to get started using Final Cut Pro 10. If you want to go further, be sure to check out our Final Cut Pro 10 core training tutorial at rippletraining.com. If you enjoyed this eight lesson tutorial, that was just a small taste of what we packed into our full Final Cut Pro 10 training library. We dive deep into the advanced editing tools of Final Cut Pro 10 and teach the core fundamentals of editing that will take your videos to the next level.